Hey Encargo Brotherhood, we are back with another P365 product. In this case, it's an extended mag release. It we really wanted to be different here and provide an outwards extension, but also backwards. For the OEM, we found out that the mag release is forward and it's difficult to actually press and release the magazine without breaking or really changing your your aim. This provides a very easy surface. It also comes with a heavier spring for concealed carry applications if you guys are worried about that extension. It really makes it impossible to release the magazine if you don't want to but at the same time it's very easy to reach it in whenever you really need to do it. So the positioning is perfect and it fits very well. It's very comfortable to just do a quick mag release. You're not capable of doing this with the OEM one. At the same time it's very comfortable, it's not on the way when shooting. We're adding this to our previous products, including the short stroke trigger that reduces pre-travel and provides a very nice flat surface to our new a recently incorporated striker assembly with a back plate. The only striker in the market that produces a reduction in trigger pull weight without compromising reliability. Apart from the current accessories we already add up to the P365 platform, we're coming up with this threaded barrel option for any other components you want to add to your P365. It's extended magazine release compatible for 365 products. For the installation, you're not going to need any additional tools. In the kit, you have the extending mag release. This assembly tool we custom made for this assembly. And the spring is an extra power spring. It's around 15% for concealed carry purposes. But it's more of a personal choice. You can decide to put it on or keep the OEM depending on what type of stiffness you want for the extended mag release. As always, guys, clear firearm. Rack the slide, magazine well, breech face, and chamber. It's clear, it's ready to go to work on. Also, clear the magazines. Do you wanna be playing with magazines with rounds in? You can also chamber, so make sure your, your magazines are empty. For this installation, I'm using a P365 XL. This one in particular has our trigger and our striker assembly. This one also has our spring kit. It can reduce it around three pounds, three pounds and a half. So to this combo, we're gonna add our EMR, our extended mag release. SIG calls it magazine catch, magazine release. We prefer the word, the concept magazine release. We're gonna open the pack. This is our extending mag release made out of solid 4140. It's been also been hardened and black nitride. It just looks awesome. Apart from that, we got that disassembly tool I was talking about. This is probably the best part of the, of the kit for any others that have installed or disassembled the OEM mag release. What SIG provides, it's a hole. There's a hole in this section designed to put a, a small pin and then pry this part open. So this plastic part is the detent, is the one that keeps the magazine release in place. So to disassemble, according to SIG, you have to put a pin through there and then pry that plastic. What happens if you do that? This one already has some damage. If you pry that, you're 100% gonna get some damage and wear in your frame and you don't want to damage your new firearm, right? This, this process becomes more seamless and avoids damage in the frame. The way to do it, so you see this pin, it's uniform thickness, right? Except at the tip, right? It's slightly sharper there, not, not sharp to cut you. We've seen videos of people using an X-Acto knife, but it's a dangerous option because you can cut yourself or potentially damage the firearm. So you're gonna depress the magazine release, press it out, and then with the tool, with the flat face looking backwards, towards the metal part, you're gonna introduce the tip between the plastic and the magazine release. Okay, so it's in. And now to disassemble this thing, you're gonna push into it and back until you feel, oh, there you go. You, you feel a click. That one was very easy. But just compare that to actually prying or using an X-Acto knife. This is way more seamless and you guys are gonna enjoy taking that magazine release out. Now we're ready to put our extending mag release. Nice thing about this one, you get an outward extension around 0.1 inches and then a backwards extension around 0.15 inches. To install it, we're gonna use Right here are these two springs, OEM spring, and right here on the right is our spring. This is 15% heavier, a bit stiffer to make it safer for concealed carry situations. It makes it less likely to have an accidental mag release. So if you are about safety, this is your option. This is the way. If you want a more faster reloads and something more tactical based, you can keep the OEM. It's already a decent poundage, around five pounds. But if you're gonna conceal carry this firearm, it's a good option to add. The first step is we just put that spring in. There's a spring seat, and the spring is just gonna sit in that groove and against 
the, the extending mag release. You're gonna hold it with your right hand, with the finger, and then depending if you're left hand or right hand, you're gonna put it on one side or the other. I am right-handed, so we're gonna put it on this right side. So we put the EMR through the hole in the frame. The spring is gonna push against that section in the frame, and it's gonna get captured. Again, we hold it with the fingers, with the right hand, put it in, and then push it in this way so you can hold it with your right hand it's a bit stiffer right because it's a stiffer spring and now we're gonna get the detent this is the one that's gonna catch the magazine release geometry look at that triangle get that detent and push it in yep. sometimes you have to just there you go push it in and you're gonna hear a very audible click there you go click so as easy as that we put the detent in it locks in place and the EMR is ready to go. Sometimes if you assemble the spring incorrectly, you're gonna hear a clicking noise when you press the extended mag release. So what I recommend is you just get the disassembly tool, take it apart again and reassemble. Just switch around the spring, do exactly the same step as before and that only will click should leave. It will be just uh, easy, nice pressure on the extended mag release. We're gonna try it out with the magazine. This is an XL P365 magazine, so we have the big one. Clicks in place, release. Very easy to operate, even when you're operating the firearm. It's easier to stay in target and very repeatable, right? Like what I noticed with this one, so whenever I'm shooting, if I wanna go fast, the chances of me missing that extending my release are way lower than OEM. OEM has, it's like forward, it's angled forward, it's very difficult with your finger, you have to kind of break your grip. With this one, you can keep your grip and just lower it and it's ready to go. The extra power spring also makes it very safe whenever operating in a holster. This is actually a so the holster we sell. It's compatible for holsters that don't cover the mag release. So for this one, it works perfectly. If you guys want to grab one, it's in the, available on the website. As I said before, you can keep the OEM spring. It'll be around a pound less. If you are more into going to the range with your P365, it's also a solid option to make it more enjoyable for faster and seamless releases. I'm really confident that you guys will like this addition to the firearm. It makes the firearm look very nice. You guys are gonna add it to your M Carburize 365 with the trigger, with the back plate, with the spring kit, and there's probably more to come. As always, thanks for watching. If you're having some trouble, feel free to give us a call and send us an email. And be sure to check us out at M Carbo website and on a new support M Carbo site at support.mcarbo.com.